ever wanted to get into 3D printing but had had no idea where to start? Me too. I I first got into this whole idea of like, oh, I want to get into 3D printing when someone sent me this. This right here. Someone sent me this last year and I thought it was genius and it immediately made me go, I want to be able to make something like that. See, this here is the GoPro dual charge. And this guy realized that when he was out traveling, if he took a battery bank and he plugged this in and then he put it in his bag, if these batteries like they like barely get bumped at all inside of his bag, they would stop charging. So he he sat there and he designed this piece right here and then was able to just 3D print it so that this slides in perfectly into there. Now you can plug this in while you're traveling. See how it's charging in there? And now you can have this in your bag and it can be bumping around on a bus or a plane or whatever and it'll keep charging. It holds those batteries in there. And I just thought, dang, that is so cool to be able to see a problem, design something to fix it, and then instantly be able to 3D print it. I want that in my life. So when, when Anchor Make reached out to me to try out their M5 3D printer, I, uh... I told them, heck yes, I wanna try it. I also explained to them that I have no idea what I'm doing. I am a... I'm a total beginner at it. Look, the box is still sealed. You and I are gonna go through this process together. We're gonna find out how beginner friendly is this Anchor Make M5. We'll go over some of the features, uh, the price, which by the way is only 800 bucks. I thought 3D printers were like thousands of dollars. 800 bucks and you could get this one. And from all the videos I've seen, like, like Anchor Make basically made an easy to use, very intuitive, like the type of 3D printer that, that you can set up, you can get going, and it just makes sense. You don't have to have so much technical knowledge to be able to, uh, to get going. We're gonna find that out today. Again, I've never used a 3D printer. I have no idea how to make this, but I'm gonna try. Also, I will link I will link this piece down in the description below. This guy was kind enough to send me the file for this because I don't know how to design things in 3D space yet for 3D printers. But if you just wanna skip that step entirely and just go buy one of these, uh, link below, shoot over to his Etsy. This thing is, is super well made. I've had it for like a year, works great. Step one, unboxing and assembly. How, how easy is it? I'll give you notes along the way of this whole setup process, but in general, I'm just gonna speed this up for you. That, uh, I believe is the main bit. I think that's the extruder. Ugh. Oh, jeez. I believe that's the base plate right here. I mean, this doesn't look as complicated as I thought it was gonna look. I, I thought, I don't know, this whole thing very intimidating, but this, this is already making me feel a little bit better. Look at this thing. Oh! That is awesome. Woo. All right, keep going. Also nice is they give you an extra screw for each of the, the screw sizes in case you're clumsy and you drop things. We're on. That was a very easy setup. I would say uh, that took me like 10 minutes to get this thing put together and powered on. Download and install the Anchor Make app and then sign up for an account. Name your printer. What should we name this printer? You look like a, looks like a Carl to me. Call him uh, Carl 3D. Your auto leveling has 49 points. It'll take about 10 minutes. So I imagine that you used to have to level your own plate for auto leveling to be a, a big deal of a feature. All right, that took about 10 minutes to uh, to auto level. Oh, does moving that mess up the auto level? Up here like this, that looks like 45. All right, for more up to date, I also just realized that in the app, there's a explore tab with a bunch of designs that are pre-set up and they say that they're ready to print. Like I don't need to use a slicer or anything. There's a gorilla phone stand. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. I wish they had a... Oh, they do have a Benchy. Everyone talks about these Benchies. Let's make a Benchy. It says I can do a Benchy in 17 minutes. It says it's downloading the file. So it just sends it straight from the app to the printer. That's that's pretty trick. I'm printing my first 3D, 3D print ever. And I think I'm like 20-ish minutes into this whole process. The countdown, the countdown. Wow, that's moving faster than I thought it was gonna do. It's done! <laughs> I don't know if I have to let it cool down or not. 
Can I touch it? Shut up. Uh, check this out. Okay, so what I know about 3D printing thus far is, one, that's a pretty solid print. That's a good benchy, looks good. And then because it's in fast mode, I guess maybe like that's where there's like little, there's like little ripples in the front. That's a good little benchy. And again, this is in fast mode. So I just clicked through this guy and I saw that in normal mode, this is saying that it's gonna take me about two hours to make this. And in fast mode, it's just over an hour. So I'm thinking fast mode probably cuts your time in half. So you can prototype things, so you can pop something out really quickly that maybe doesn't have such tight tolerances. Again, this benchy looks pretty dang good. There's just a little bit of wispiness in the middle there, like in the cab. That's my first 3D print. That's pretty fun. It's reheating the nozzle, reheating the bed. It says it's gonna take me one hour and 49 minutes to print Jonathan's file, which again, Jonathan, thank you so much for sending this over to me. From opening this box until I'm ready to print a, a well, I already printed a Benchy, but I'm ready to print a GoPro accessory. And I think we are at, we are at 52 minutes. It has taken me from opening the box to, to printing a Benchy, and now I'm about to print a GoPro accessory. All right, the countdown has begun. In one hour, 49 minutes, I will have a GoPro accessory in my hands that again, Jonathan made, link in the description to go just buy one of these things. <laughs> it already looks like it, it's already, it's already doing that back piece right there. <laughs> The next day. It is the next day, and was I able to print a GoPro accessory? Heck yes, I was. Look how good, look how good this thing turned out. This dual battery charger holder thing, it fits perfectly in there. It totally works. Like the, the craziest thing about this is that in under an hour from taking this out of the box, I put it together, I was able to print my Benchy and I was able to start my GoPro print of this thing in under an hour. And then and then I got totally carried away. Uh, somebody also sent me this file. Check this thing out. This is a this is an insert for the GoPro case that you get when you buy the camera. This thing slides perfectly in here and then you can take your GoPro and your batteries and the SD cards and all your accessories and everything. It fits it fits perfectly. And then then I, then I, again, I went, I went a little crazy yesterday. I printed this guy. This is a, a GoPro handle. You, you clip the thing in there and then all of a sudden you have a, a handle for your GoPro. I printed these little guys. I printed this thing right here. I printed two of these. These are SD card holders. Ow. So that on my desk, See, look, I put put a label for import on one and format on the other. I made them for uh, micro SD cards also. I made a phone case, cause I don't know, just, I found the file online, so I hit print. I made a little dinosaur. Look at, look at how cute that little dinosaur is. So I made him a mommy because again, I pretty much have not let this printer rest for like, the last 24, I made uh, hat racks. Have you ever seen these things on Amazon? I've almost bought them on Amazon like 10 times. And then I just found them online on a file and I was able to hit print and now I have them. I made all this in my first day. Oh, I made a whistle too. Look at this cool little whistle. It's a little like flat little whistle thing, but uh, <laughs> my kids think it's awesome. By far uh, the highlight of everything that I made yesterday was tiaras for my daughters. I made tiaras for them and then my wife took them inside and they painted them and they they bedazzled them with jewels and it was it was the coolest thing ever. This whole thing, like this is my new favorite thing and I also think this is kind of a new hobby that I just fell into because of this. And more than anything, I would just say like we had so much fun yesterday. There's also, I don't think I even mentioned this, there's a camera on here, so it'll make a time lapse as you, you print something, but also from the app, while you're printing, you can jump on here and you can click a live view. And through that camera, you can live view your print as it's being printed. So my daughters, like all day long, as we were printing things and making tiaras and all this different stuff, or making dinosaurs, they were like, let us let me look at it. I wanna see it on your phone. I wanna see it being printed. And yeah, we just had, Man, this was a lot of fun. This was a fun, 
this thing is so fun. But I would say as as a 3D printer, this thing is amazing. Again, just from a total beginner standpoint here, I can tell you incredibly beginner friendly, super easy setup. It was really easy to put together, super easy to use the app. Like the app is, is very impressive and the slicer is super easy to use. I've heard some people in the videos say that when you click open expert mode, that it's hard to find, I don't know. Beginner mode for beginners. It's amazing. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the Anchor Make M5. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. I will jump down there. Again, links to the printer, filament, links to this guy's stuff, links to this insert. That'll all be down in the description. And if you, by any chance, have any STL files that you're like, dude, you gotta check this thing out. I made it, it's really cool. Uh, email it to me. I wanna, I'll print your thing. I wanna see what, I don't, I just, I, I don't think I'm gonna stop this thing printing. Pretty much been printing for the last 24 hours straight. And I don't, I don't think I, I've got like 15 more things that I for sure want to make. Definitely more whistles and definitely more tiaras. The girls are loving the tiaras. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for checking out the Anchor Make M5 with me. Again, if you have any files, send them to me. I wanna, I wanna print them. I just wanna make lots of stuff. I have lots of ideas for things that I wanna make that I don't know how to design yet. But, but once I do, I think this is just gonna live on my desk. This is probably just gonna live right there and then I'll be able to just print things all the time. All right, I'll see you soon. Can you climb up here? And hi, these are what that we got it. That we made it by this machine. This machine made them, and then you painted them, right? Yeah. Here, let's hold it. Let's hold it way over here so they can see it. And Wait. then we put oh. gems on oh, them. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it like that. That's pretty sweet, huh? See? You wanna try it on? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. You look beautiful. Yeah. Should we make more tiaras? Yeah, we should. How many tiaras should we make? We should make a hundred. A hundred? Woo! All right, let's get printing. Hurrah!